Hi, it's Aquino from Coldwell Banker Realty in Honolulu. Today I wanted to share the August 2020 stats. I've created a PowerPoint to highlight the key metrics. Let's take a look. So what did August look like for us on Oahu? This was created by Title Guarantee. Thank you very much. Um, here we go. Single family home, the median sales price is $796. Condos are $430. Year to date, we've sold 2,480 single family homes, condos 2,931. You will see that it is a sharp decline for condos, negative 20.9 versus single family homes, it's relatively flat. You can see the effects of COVID. Everyone would like to move into a single family home. You know, now that most people are working from home, they would want more space, no community things. They would rather have a pool for their own family people's priorities have changed. So what does a 796 home on Oahu look like? This is one example, and this went over asking. You can see that within 10 days, this three bedroom, two bath home was initially listed for 775, but sold at 796. It's $21,000 over asking. So please keep that in mind. When we go over condos, you will see that it's a very different market the single family homes, it's definitely a seller's market. So if you have a home that you would like to sell, right now is a great time. Now for the condos 430, there were five homes that sold condos in August. So, and I put it all on the map so you can get an idea and what you can get on Oahu. So there was a one bedroom, one bath condo in Waikiki at the Island Colony. So there's no parking, it's community laundry. Or if you move a little bit to Makiki, which is still in town, you can get a two bedroom, one and a half bath condo. In Pearl City, um, you can get a three bedroom, two bath. And then in Waikele, you can get a two bedroom, two bath townhome. And then out in Makakilo, you can get a three bedroom, one and a half bath. And I will quickly show you what each of these listings look like. So this one is at the Island Colony, the condo in Waikiki. It is a one bedroom and total square footage is about 667. And like I said, no parking, community laundry. But you are on the 43rd floor, you have amazing views. This lead picture is a little bit misleading because that's not what your views would actually look like from the unit. This one is the one in town at Makiki. So this one, you will see the initial list price was 462. They took it down to 449 and then it finally sold for 430. It was on the market for 105 days. This is a two bedroom, one and a half bath with one parking, 845 square feet with a lanai, which is a balcony here. The next one is in Pearl City. Again, take a look at the list price. It, it was initially listed for 460, sold for 430. It was on the market for 78 days. It's a three bedroom, two bath, one parking. And this is quite spacious for Honolulu, I would say. 1278 square feet interior um, with a little lanai and 1336 total. This one is in Waikele. Um, Maybe some visitors might know it as where the YKLA outlets are. And this was on the market for 122 days, listed initially for 450. They took a price decrease to 439 and it sold for 430. You get a two bedroom, two bath, one parking, and the total square footage on this one is 886. And then the other one in Maka Kilo is listed. It was initially listed for 445. They took the price reduction to 430. That's what it sold for. It was on the market for 38 days. You get a three bedroom, one and a half bath, two parking, and the square footage is 1230. So these are the kinds of homes that you can get for the median sales price. I hope this helped and see you next time.